I would like to scrub in on the amygdala ablation surgery. Rose said you're feeling overwhelmed. And I don't want to hear any more things that woman has said. Your job is to supervise your residents. Why are you here instead of doing that? You said you were going to supervise my supervision, but you didn't. You took over my case. I don't know what I was supposed to learn or how. Scrub in. Dr. Murphy, walk Asher through the probe placement and trajectory to the amygdala. I will supervise your supervision. Okay, insert the probe perpendicular to the cortical surface. Stop. You're off course. On the current trajectory, you will penetrate a branch of the choroidal artery and cause a hemorrhage. Step away from the probe. Your job is to teach, not take over. Adjust the probe one millimeter inferiorly. Avoid the temporal horn on your right. I can't see it on the image guidance. Tell Asher what you see. It should point toward your six o'clock on the Y axis. You have to feel it. The, the tissue plane along the parenchyma is smooth. It should feel like gliding. You've reached the amygdala. Ready to begin thermal laser ablation. Rose's upper GI and labs are normal. Should we keep her in the day to observe? No, she's stable. Let's send her home. Okay, I'll have Olivia. Open your mouth. Pardon me. Open your mouth. I can, uh... Shut your mouth. There's this rat. A mouse. A little dead mouse in the garage, and the big strong man is afraid to get it out. Not afraid. Disgusted. Neither of us want to deal with it, so we are settling it in the only responsible way. A bat. A dare. A series of dares, actually. Whoever whistles out first has Take to... Take those things out of your mouth. I will discharge Rose. You two go home. We are just being idiots at work while people are sick and dying. Go home. <laughs> 